Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon Season 2. Um... What the heck is that? Oh sweet, mother of god, that's a Groudon. Uh... Okay. Um... Just a heads up for everyone out there watching this, I promise to god I did not spawn that. Uh, that just popped up. Um. 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 Duh. Oh my god. Are we at the take on Groudon? I know that Groudon's a- I think it's a ground and fire type. So revenge would have to be pretty effective. Yeah, it is- it is very effective. Oof. Okay. Probably one more should do the trick. Oh, wait. Um... Dreadigan's dead. Okay, um, as you can tell, we're in a new area. Monferno and Charmeleon evolved into Infernape and Charizard. Always a good thing. Ugh. Oh, oh, God. Earth power doesn't affect it. Oh, Lava Plume. I could probably take like maybe one or two more of those. Ugh, okay, 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 okay. Pokeball. Oh god, heavy ball. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I really want to catch this thing. I have one Ultra Ball. Oh my god. What a great way to start episode 20. Also, while I was trying to find this air, where, 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 where ugh, while I was trying to find this area that I'm at, I found a GS Ball. I don't know if it's even going to work. Oh, three shakes. So close. Okay, I'm not going to use a Dusk Ball just yet because it's almost nighttime. Ugh. Not yet. Level Ball. Nope. Oh my god, I can't believe this actually just popped up. <gasps> oh my god, I caught Groudon! Okay, so the only reason why last time when I caught Articuno, I got a- I spawned my- like, I found a Master Ball. That was actually a lie. I actually spawned in a Master Ball, mostly because I figured that I did all that work. I did all that stuff just to get that Legendary. I deserve a Master Ball and an easy capture. This was a, a legitimate capture. I did not spawn this Groudon in. I promise you that. Because normally if I press, like, my, my tab key to enter my controls in... I, it would say, like, Groudon, or you spawned in Groudon. I did not spawn this in. This literally spawned in by itself. I wasn't even at my computer. Um, I was not at my computer when it happened. It literally just happened, and I caught it legitimately. Oh my god. Oh, this is amazing. What a great way to start off the episode. Ugh. Okay. Did not mean to throw that. So, you're probably wondering where I'm at exactly. Well, 
if you guys remember the last video, I said I was going to take my Pokeballs, uh, some items with me, and I have a PC, I have an extra PC, so if I ever want to go on a, a road trip or somewhere, or go somewhere new, I'll be able to take out my Pokemon in the one I want. Um, but I finally found an, well, while I was looking for a town that has a new gym for me to build up my, my new house and uh, take on the gym, I found three houses, or not three houses, I found three villages that had no gyms, and I finally found a gym, or a village that had a gym, or that has a gym, which is this town, and, um... The gym over here is... Wow, it is very laggy in the desert. Um, okay. But there is a rock-type gym here, which is really cool. And then I went... Wow, it is very laggy here. I am very, very sorry, guys. We'll get used to it eventually. Um, but while I was looking for... Or while I was looking around for a place to... Or like a gym or somewhere... I went over this, like, little mountain area over here, and I kid you not, there is another gym on the other side of this mountain that but that's by another village. So, I found three villages that had no gyms, but then found two villages that had two gyms right out. I found two villages that had two gyms right next to each other. One gym is a rock-type gym, and the other gym is a grass-type gym. You guys can't see it, but it's loaded in. It, I mean, it's... Trust me, it's there. I, I already checked before. Or, like... Okay. If the game would just load in, it's, like, right over there. But we, we're not gonna go over there just yet. We're gonna explore this area, and I'm gonna show you all the new Pokemon I caught on the way over here. Outrage. And dead. Okay. So, I actually caught a lot of new Pokemon while I was coming over to this area. Oh, wow. This place is very, very laggy. I mean, it's slowly starting to warm up. It's getting there. But, in the meantime, what do you guys think of my house that I made? I, I decided to make this because... Again, I had to go into creative mode so I could fly and find a, uh, a village in enough time so we can continue along with the Let's Play. Because I know you guys don't want to see like 10 episodes of me just finding a place to go. That's stupid. But I went to creative mode and found this place and I built my town or my little house here. Um, but yeah, I caught a lot of new Pokemon. So the last time we had a Pokemon caught, um, our last one was registered, was under Furfru. So, Wimpod, Carbink, Dino, Shuckle, Talo, Goldeen, Riolu, Zubat, Krabby, Shelmet, Ducklet, Psyduck, Corfish, Surskit, Solosis, Mudchop, Pidgey, Nidoran, I mean, no, yeah, Nidoran Male, Doduo, Ponyta, Blitzel, Cyndaquil, Rhyhorn, Scyther, Growlithe, Numel, Lickitung, Gibble, Sandal, I mean, Sandal, Sandile, <laughs> Trapinch, Shinx, a regular Sandshrew, so to have an Alolan one, um, Cacnea, Scorpy, yeah, Diglett, Helioptile, Beltoy, Hippopotamus, Hippopotamus, wait, Hip? Hippopotos, I don't know how to say it, Maractus, Snubble, Larvest, Larv uh, Larvesta, Ghastly, Golit, Dunsparce, Skitty, Punkaboo, Electabuzz, Spinarak, and Groudon. So those are all the current Pokemon that I have caught, that I caught on the way over here, and my god. Actually, hang on. Now that I think about it, I should... I should probably have a healer just in case. Because... I mean, yeah, I could just 
try and find the materials to make a new healer, but that's just going to take long, and it's just, it's just going to be easier if I just do this. Come on, open up. And also, since the other, and you know, while, I'm over, while I'm still in this mode, I might as well show you the other gym. But, I figured since this town is like really close to the other one, there's no point of making two, two houses. Granted, I've already made two houses, but there's no point of making another house over in the other village. So over here is the grass type gym. Which we will be taking this gym on once we beat the rock gym. I still can't believe a Groudon spawned and I was able to catch it with a quick ball. So, we'll be able to go through that gym a little bit later, but right now we gotta take on that gym. Now, the gym that. Again, this this is a rock type gym, so we gotta think uh we gotta think strategy. So probably fighting type Pokemon. Quash, quash. Come on, just fly. <sighs> so I'm thinking fighting type Pokemon, water type Pokemon, maybe ice type Pokemon. I I'm gonna be bringing Articuno into the uh the rock type gym. Um, because that's just a given. So, and Drudigan, Drudigan, I'm going to have to take you out for this gym because you're not going to do very well in this gym. And neither is the rest of my team I have. So, you guys are all out. Sorry, but that's going to... Um, so we gotta start getting up some water type Pokemon. Water and fighting type, actually. So Hitmonlee, you, we might be using you after all. Uh, we're gonna be using Seismitoad, Dugong, and Gyarados as well. Actually, we might take out Hitmonlee. Um, we might actually put, well, I want to put in Ducklet, but it's also a flying type Pokemon, and they're weak to rock types. Actually, maybe this could be enough as it is. These four. I mean, I doubt it. We'll probably, you know what, we'll also bring in Dredigan just because he's like the strongest Pokemon I got. And... You know, this could be a good way to... Oh, wait. It's a grass-type Pokemon. It's a rock-type gym. I might as well bring in Torterra as well. I didn't even think about that. Water. Water. Rock, basically, water, flying, and grass will do the trick. I didn't even think to use Torterra. Okay, so Torterra technically is like the weakest Pokemon on my team right now. But, we still got strength in numbers. Um, and since our, actually, what the heck? What's this? A Galamberry. No. Okay, so Articuno is a flying and ice type Pokemon. and actually doesn't really have any, um, any really strong moves that can help us out with right now. Unless it learned, like, a water type move. For right now, we are going to just try and battle the opponents in here. So. Can we talk to you? Welcome to the rock gym. Our hero will make you fall. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ha. So, fun fact. These Pokemon are actually going to be equal to my strength and levels. My god. So. These battles will be really tough. Ugh, oh god. Oh, sweet mother of god! Okay, and by equal, I mean whatever my strongest Pokemon is, that's what the level will be. So, Agron is level... Oh, and they have a healing factor, that's...
Wow! Holy sh Jesus. Uh, okay. Never mind then. It looks like battling these Pokemon trainers is going to be better than I thought. I can't even beat, like, the first trainer that's in the gym. How am I supposed to beat the gym leader? I mean, this guy is literally level 71, and it took out all my Pokemon, including Articuno. How am I supposed to beat that? So, yeah, basically, that's basically every single trainer in the gym. They're going to be as strong as my strongest Pokemon. So, I can't win. That being said, there is another thing I can do, which I might actually have to do, because if I don't do it, I won't be able to make any good progress in the game. But I'll probably do it off camera. So, basically what I have to do is I'd have to go into, like, because if I go into, um, into creative mode, there's something I can do for, like, the villagers and the AI like this that I can edit. So instead of making them equal to my power or my, to my strongest Pokemon, I'll set them to, like, a certain power level, which um, I'm pretty sure the first gym leader that we went up against was, like, level 50. Get the hell out of my house! Um, but I'll probably set all the other gym leaders, like, equal to, like, level 50 to where they originally were at. I don't know why they have that default. It's, like, right after you beat... It's, like, literally right after you beat the first gym leader that you go up against, they all go up in level. It's, it's total BS. But, okay, so Articuno... You're gonna go here, Torterra, you're gonna go here. I think... God, I still can't believe I caught a Groudon. Actually, you know what? Let's take out Groudon real quick and show him to everyone. Nope, come on. I wish there was an easier way of doing this. Oh, there's an easier way. I can just use the... Wait, I can just... Oh, I can just use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's heal up. Actually, might as well bring out... Because actually, no. These three Pokemon that I have, Articuno... Okay, why are you in my house? What do you have to say? I can maybe about Savannah and now I want a Shinx. But a ranger told me it's environmentally irresponsible. That's so unfair. Well, because you live in the desert. Granted, there's a safari back there. But there's three Pokemon that I have are my strongest Pokemon right now. Dread again. Articuno, and Groudon. Oh god. Oh no, Groudon! Oh, you're big. You're big. Oh, I can ride Groudon! Fear me! Wait, what size is Groudon? Ordinary. Okay, I just wanted to check. Is that the same thing for... Oh, huge! Ordinary, okay. Fear me! I ride the top of a Groudon. This is actually kind of cool. Okay, back to the Pokeball. Ow. He's so high, whenever I go to retrieve him, I take damage. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I guess I have something for the thumbnail. I didn't know what to do for the thumbnail for this episode, but thank God Groudon popped up. So, in the next video, I'll probably fix a thing that I need to do. Maybe in the next video, we'll try to evolve some new Pokemon or catch some new Pokemon that are in this area that I haven't quite exactly fully explored yet. Um, but other than that, that actually is going to be it for today's episode. I just want to show you guys where our new area is going to be set at for the next couple episodes. Um, like I said, episode... Wait, hang on. Episodes 1 through like 10, we were in that original area where we first found our um, our little Pokemon Center town that didn't have a gym. We stayed there for a while. I moved away. I went to the fire gym or the town that had the fire gym. And that main place will always be my home since 
I did, I accomplished so much there. Like, yeah, I made my first Pokeball and caught my first couple Pokemon at my uh, at my original base area, but that other base that I had back in the fire gym or by that area, you know what, I think I'm going to call it a town or something. I don't know what exactly I'm going to call it. Probably just, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But I made a lot of accomplishments. I got an Articuno there. I got my first Legendary at that town that had the gym. I got my first gym badge there, and I caught so many more Pokemon and my first shiny there. So I c accomplished a lot of things at that place. Here, I caught a Groudon right off the bat, and I'm pretty and I s did not even spawn that in, and I'm I'm surprised I was even able to catch it. So I think my luck is going to go up here. I got myself my second legendary. I feel like I'm going to get my um. My second gym badge here. Ooh, a Brakeson. That also reminds me, I also got two shinies. I wait, I got two shinies back in my other area. So, with that being said, while I'm off fixing a couple of things, I might be trying to level up some Pokemon and evolve some. But with that being said, if you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. And oh, okay. If oh, it's level 36. If you're excited to see what is going to happen in the next video, uh, hopefully we'll be able to take on the next couple gyms and, you know, finish off our adventures in, uh, in this Pixelmon region, or whatever you want to call it. Leave, leave a like and subscribe. Actually, no, let me, know what you, let me know what your favorite Pokemon is, and let me know what you like about Pokemon, if you like Pokemon, and why you like it. Um, let me know if your favorite Pokemon is Groudon, and why you like that Pokemon. Just let me know why you like it. It, it. Pokemon's fun. I love it. It's a fun game for everyone to enjoy. I've wasted enough time. If you guys like this video, leave a con uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'm messing up my intro because I'm so flabbergasted that that giant Groudon popped up. Leave a like and subscribe. This is Nighthawk, and I will see you guys in the next video.